the rules were made, the rules have been followed. What a reality it is for members of the faith-based community who have to adhere to an all-new way of fellowshipping. The scanty looks, however, are not necessarily a function of poor attendance. You must keep a distance if you opt to have congregational worship. One hour is the time allotted for any service. Members made the most of it. There's no better time to reinforce the faith of the believer than times as this. A lot of changes have happened. People can't shake hands, they can't hug and all of that. But we believe that we have to keep on telling them about what they need to do. And the more we tell them, the more they get used to it. It's just a function of time. People will get used to it. Okay, ma. Nice to see you. Aside applying prescribed rules for safety reasons, the order of fellowship as known and practice has been altered, and a consequence for which Pastor Chris Okotia says it is a violation of divine ordinance. Now, if you stand in the presence of the Lord wearing a mask, it is reminiscent of Moses because he introduced the, the, the mask. There are four in scripture. You have two in the, in, the, in the temple, then the mask of Moses, and then Lot, who is the personification of that, of that mask. So it's sacrilegious, we cannot do it. Reverend Messi is however optimistic about a better deal soonest. There's nothing that starts that does not have an end. It started someday, it will end someday. And God is in charge, he's the owner of the whole world. And there's nothing strange that has ever happened that has, has ever overtaken him because he's God all the time. So one day, sometime, it will stop and we shall come together again to praise our God in fullness. Quite a number of churches opted out of the reopening permission as seen in their empty car parks and deserted auditoriums. One thing is certain, whether as a mediated means or physical call to worship, the clergy are reportedly unanimous on one conviction. The faith-based community will remain steadfast in service to the Creator. Olu Phillips, Channel Television News.